Estoy acá arriba del avión que parece que se está por caer a pedazo. Qué miedo que tengo. His last words were these. The suspect aircraft was taxiing on the runway at Nantes Atlantic Airport in 2019 when Emiliano Sala sent him a voice message on WhatsApp, worried about the impending collision. His life ended on the day he never imagined it would. What happened that caused this collision? Why did he send an audio file? In this video, we're going to share with you the shocking fatal last minutes of famous football player Emiliano Sala. So, are you ready for it? Emiliano Sala, an Argentine football star, and 59-year-old David Ibotson, the pilot, climbed aboard the 35-year-old Piper Malibu aircraft on the evening of January 19th. On January 21st, 2019, only Ibotson and Sala boarded and expressed their worries on the call to friends. The flight departed Nantes and was shortly before the plane crashed into the English Channel in 2019. Air traffic control made its last communication with the captain. Unfortunately, the aircraft crashed in a canal near Guernsey killing captain and striker Emiliano Sala, 28, and 59-year-old Davidson. A football player is captured on security camera footage before boarding the fateful flight. Since all parties had expressed the worry about the condition of the aircraft, negligence was to blame for the tragedy. Was Sala's plan to spend more time with the new team doomed to failure? What did David Ibotson know about the plane disaster? And how did it happen? Following the plane crash, BBC News got authentic audio of Captain Iverson speaking to his buddy Kevin Jones, and the news channel then broadcast the BBC's transfer podcast. The Emiliano Sala tale podcast clarified the situation with the plane as the tape played and later revealed the truth about David Ibotson in the audio. Before boarding the aircraft, Ibotson discussed the problem with his friend Kevin Jones. He advised his friend to don a life jacket because the plane appeared unstable. Who owned this questionable single-engine aircraft? Despite not being legally registered, the pilot and businessman, David Henderson, operated the plane on behalf of its owners. They coordinated flights, pilots, and maintenance. Henderson didn't keep any financial records or invoices for his company or the credentials of the pilots he hired to fly for him. Cardiff City FC had provided their recruit with a commercial trip via Paris before the crash. Before we continue, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. The voicemail further stated that Captain Ibotson reported hearing a bang when flying from Cardiff to Henderson, but that an engineer was not dispatched to the scene to check the aircraft despite requests. Before boarding the flight, he told Jones he heard a bang in an exceedingly risky vessel. The captain did arrive in Nantes without incident, following the landing at Nantes Atlantic Airport. The left brake pedal on the 35-year-old Piper Malibu aircraft proved inoperable. Consider letting the plane take off on January 21st, 2019, knowing it wasn't safe. The now deceased footballer Sala warned his friends over WhatsApp that he was worried that no one would be able to find him, foreshadowing a potential plane crash around 2019. The same day, air traffic control made their last communication with Captain David Ibbotson, but the aircraft was 22 nautical miles, 40 kilometers northwest of Guernsey. Radar contact was lost. The pilot lost control of the aircraft as it descended to escape clouds while flying at 5,000 feet, crashing into the English Channel about north of the Channel Islands at an estimated speed of 270 miles, or 34 kph. On January 21, 2019, the Piper Malibu and 264DB lost radar contact over the English Channel an hour after takeoff from runway 3. A sea and air search was started, but nothing was found after six days. The investigations found that Jack McKay assisted in planning the tragic flight over the English Channel, while Mark McKay, Willie's eldest son, assisted with organizing Salah's transfer from French Club Noms to Cardiff. Henderson admitted that Willie McKay was a regular client, but denied planning intentionally with the businessman, who lacked an aviation operator permit allowing him to carry paying passengers. Any illegal gray flights. Emiliano Sala, who was killed and discovered after two weeks, and Mr. Ibbotson, from Crow in North Lincolnshire, whose body was never discovered despite raising concerns about the aircraft, were the only two individuals on board. Before the private flight, no safety investigation was done. Do you believe the collision might have been avoided with a quick investigation? This carelessness on David's part was now finally showing. In response to the tragic plane disaster, Emiliano Sala's family filed a lawsuit against Cardiff City and the French club. David Henderson, who's accused of organizing the trip and will stand trial in October and November 2021, caused the proceedings to be delayed despite the identification of 13 defendants. Can we blame Kevin and Ibbotson for accepting the aircraft's malfunction even though they knew it was wrong and didn't object? And given the information the captain disclosed on the call, could Kevin make a difference? Leave your answers in the comments section below. That's it for today. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for upcoming disasters.